Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James, and today we have a bit of a special video planned for you guys. So I am going to be watching The Last Samurai, and we are doing it as a collab with Timothy Reacts. How are you doing today, man? Good, good. Thank you so much for having me on your channel. Really excited about this, really excited for another Tom Cruise film. Of course, yeah, so we're trying something new. I haven't done many collabs, so let me know, obviously, guys, if you want me to do more things like this, but all of us here at White Noise had actually seen The Last Samurai. It's been a minute, but we had seen it, so I figured, hey, we'll bring somebody in, do a nice collab. Timothy has got a great channel, so I'm going to link that in the description. Obviously, go check that out. Thank you, I did thank a, you. <laughs> I did a video on his channel, too, so we'll link those. Uh, we watched uh, Hercules, and then we're going to be watching Last Samurai over here, so I'm really excited. Um, do you know anything about this movie, like, beyond really... Tom Cruise's in it? I really don't know anything about this. I've seen Tom Cruise in Edge of Tomorrow, all of the Mission Impossible stuff. Haven't seen him in other stuff. I don't know if this is a more serious movie. It kind of seems like it. Definitely. But is. apart from that, uh, <laughs> yeah. but apart from that, I know it probably has to deal, you know, uh, with martial arts, that sort of stuff. But apart from that, I really don't know. Anything yeah, I mean, about it's, it. it's really cool for me. I'm a quarter Japanese, so it's like. I don't know probably as much as I should about my Japanese culture, but it is cool seeing it on screen and the way they work in. Tom Cruise and everything like that. It's just really cool. So I don't want to say too much, um, but yeah, I, obviously, as always, like I said, first, check out Timothy's channel. Check out the video we did on there. I'm going to link it all in the description. Really happy to have him here, so treat him well in the comments, guys. <laughs> and then, as usual, full-length reaction for this video is going to be up on Patreon as well as everything else. You know, we have tons of different kind of things, and if you want to go check out our Patreon, it really does help us out. And uh, yeah, so uh, all that being said, let's just get into this one here. I think this actually might be one of my favorite Tom Cruise movies. It's a great movie. Ooh. <laughs> so no pressure. Have but. you seen... Okay, okay. Have you seen many Tom Cruise movies? Or I have. I've seen a lot. Even some of the classics. Okay. Jerry Maguire, you know, those ones. And those drops became the islands of Japan. <laughs> now, it has been so I long since I saw this movie, I wasn't allowed to watch all the fight scenes because they were too gory. So this is actually... Like a half first time reaction oh. for me. <laughs> is this R rated? Or? I think so, yeah. Yo, I love this kind of action. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm a sucker for this kind of bloody action. So excited about this. Of course, about dude. You recognize Ken oh. Montanabe from Godzilla? Inception. Inception yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flashback. <laughs> <laughs> the I, last samurai. That's, awesome. that's so cool. I have a thing for title cards on this channel, and that's an awesome title card. I don't, I don't know who's the last samurai. Is it Tom Cruise or? Mm, I don't know. One of the most decorated warriors this country has ever known. Winner of the Medal of Honor, I present to you, Captain Nathan Aldrin. Nathan Algren. I love when they do this in movies, you know, without <laughs> saying anything. He hasn't said anything, but you you know so much about his character exactly. already. Exactly. Exactly. Show, don't tell. It's like how they say. This is your last performance. You're fired. Now get out there. Uh, drunken dude, either trauma from whatever. Yes! Yeah, I mean, look, soldiers have PTSD now. I would argue war was just as vicious or more vicious back then. Like, the things that Definitely. you saw, you were so much more up close and it's so much more savage. So you can imagine the trauma that causes. <laughs> He's got his cue cards. <laughs> Come on, dude, you've got it. <laughs> Let me tell you, folks, the Red Man is a fierce and if he'd have had his way, why this scalp of mine would be long gone. Like those poor bastards out there. On the little big horn. Oh, he's going off script, well, right? Super. Yeah. This going Ladies dark. The 73 lever action. Trapper. It's a blow hole in your daddy six inches wide. Oh. Okay, so what are they doing here? Trying to sell guns? Is that it? 
Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, and they're using, you know, the Patriot Act, the fact that he fought in war and making it like a fun adventure. It's like, look, people died. By the way, if you see me looking down at any point, just taking some notes. He's showing me up on my own channel here. Like, jeez, notes. Nathan Aldrin, I'd like you to meet Mr. Omura from Japan and his associate, whose name I've given up trying to pronounce. Japan's got it in mind to become a, a civilized country. And Mr. Omura here is willing to spend what it takes to hire white experts. The emperor grants the U.S. exclusive rights to supply arms. It's all about the money. They bring you $25 a week. We will pay you four hundred dollars. Wow, that's four an times upgrade. more. Eesh. So, who will be training you? Yeah, definitely different cultures. You know, one more based off of respect. You know, traditions. <laughs> Please excuse. What is funny? Back together again. It's just so. <laughs> Tom Cruise laugh. I don't know what it is about it, but. <laughs> Real quick, let's stop in three, two, one. And you assured us of his participation. He'll do it. I just need a minute. I do like how you see the difference between the, the Japanese culture is very big on respect and your elders and different things like that. And I like how you can see them losing respect for the American general because Nathan is disrespecting him. Yeah, it's making the Americans look bad. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it's true. It's true. Oosh, I am. For 500 bucks a month, I'll kill whoever you want. But keep one thing in mind. I'd have Whoa. Dang. Why does he hate him so much? Okay, there's definitely a lot of history between him or July twelfth, eighteen seventy six. There is some comfort. That's exactly what it's gonna say at the exact same moment. Like okay, what time period are we set in? Alright. <laughs> yeah. You can tell by the Civil War esque costumes and everything like that. Loving the narration so far. <laughs> yeah. These flashbacks come out of nowhere, just kind of <laughs> scaring me sometimes. Okay. So your new employer, Mr. Mura, is bringing in every Western expert who can get his hands on. Yeah, so it, it, it's more. It depends on where you are in Japan, whether they like you or not, because you're you're from the West. But here they like him. I have a rather unfortunate tendency to tell the truth in a country where no one ever says what they mean. So now, very accurately, they're just polite. Seen by a comrade. I don't know why, but it seems like in every you know foreign film like this that I've seen, there is always so many stairs. Oh, I know. <laughs> so many stairs. <laughs> Do I look presentable? I haven't worn this in a decade. <laughs> snug around my midriff. Maybe it's a bit tight. But... <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> the divine emperor made you, bids you welcome. He is grateful for the assistance your country has. We hope to accomplish the same national harmony you enjoy in your homeland. Very much. Emperor seems pretty young. Yeah, very young. Everything is so calculated here. Okay, okay, did not expect that. Let's go. Let's go. July 27th, 1876. For six months' work, I am to receive. Dang, he's getting paid pay. crazy. Jeez. Taking this seriously now, huh? <laughs> now that the pay's good. They are an army. He seems to have great knowledge of Katsumoto and his rebellion. I will count on his help in facing the samurai. Who supplies the weapons? Kanada no Bukiwa. He uses no firearms. See, for those who honor the old ways, Katsumoto is a hero. How well does he know this man? Well, the gentleman, Katsumoto, fought together. Great. Oh, really? Okay. This is a, th I mean, it's, it's, this is like a true, a true revolution within Japanese culture, right? You have the modern coming in and taking over the old ways, and you have the, they're both samurai, but one warrior is like a, 
you know. Respects the old, tra old traditions and. Yeah. A fellow linguist? Oh, capital. Oh, come on, sir. A word or two in the savage tongue. Just hello or goodbye. Oh, no, no, no. Cut his tongue out and boil him in oil. It's about bedtime, isn't it? Was it a dread he really doesn't Scout seem happy right now. I understood its technique. This guy has no sense of, of battle or the respect. And scraping a dull blade of a rusty knife around your scalp with a sword like motion. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let your imagination grasp. Yeah, I'm trying to visualize that right now when it's not a pretty picture. No. On the turf, you had to do it. Being such an interesting samurai. You gotta take this seriously, right? Yeah. Shall not sleep? The rebels don't have a single rifle. Still, don't so underestimate the them. People in movies years. always underestimate their enemies, right? I know. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're doing this. Okay, okay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. He's either super confident or really dumb. <laughs> I, think a, I think a little bit of both. In the battlefield, you got a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, right? You're gonna be shaking. Oh my god. He can't. Now, more importantly, I don't think he would have minded if he got shot. Then why is he the general? Like, I don't respect them fighting these random people, but if you're gonna if you're gonna change your country and fight your brother, then fight your brother. Don't just pretend to not lead them. I feel like long range we're gonna be strong, you know, they got the guns, but close up, I I don't think they got it. Also, these rifles. One shot and then you gotta reload. The silence before the storm. <laughs> Most of them are civilians, right? Or people that have never actually fought a real battle. I want to see the size of the <laughs> army. What are Look we facing? This. Look at this. <laughs> Yo, I absolutely love the helmets. The armor Dude. they got. <laughs> the mask everything He told them to hold their fire. Oh. oh shit. Are they too far for gonna miss? That's why. Reload, reload, reload! Yeah. You know they're not. This is why you don't go into battle untrained. Shoot, he's out. All right, hand to hand. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Ah. Oh, ay ay ay. Yeah, yeah, he's done. He's done. Oof. Oh. Yo, the fighting so far is great. Oh. Wait, did he get hurt or was it close? No, he got hurt. Ah, uh, dude from the beginning, yeah. He's impressed. <laughs> Remember the vision that he had at the beginning? Mm. Oh, okay. Is Tom gonna kill him? <laughs> Last second. My. Ah. Yeah, a little hardcore. Completely. 
I don't know if they filmed this in Japan or not, but the landscapes is are beautiful. I'm sure, actually, I'm sure they filmed it in Japan. It's amazing. I love it. With the mountains in the background. Yes. Such beautiful locations. Oh, I just, I, I just recognized him. Uh, one of the dude of the horses from the Mortal Kombat film. Yes, yes. Yeah. I don't, I don't Set. know his name, but he's a pretty popular Japanese actor, and I really like him. This is my son's village. We are deep in the mountains, and the winter is coming. You cannot escape. <laughs> it's a bit of an odd place to wake up. Yeah, no escape. He's not gonna have a choice to to stay here. I think he's too injured to escape anyway. It doesn't even matter. He, I, I physically don't think he could escape. Yeah, I think he's more valuable alive. You can learn so much from him. Okay. <laughs> My, is, he try is he trying to drown himself or? He's he's in withdrawal, right? Because he's been an alcoholic, mm. and so he's trying to. And of course, now he's gonna get these flashbacks. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's her house, her rules. All right. I, th I think it's it it is like like so heroic of her to recognize that and actually care about what's best for this prisoner. It might be hard right now, but you know, in the long run, way better this way. Already seems a lot better. Yeah, to my understanding, and I, I may be totally wrong too. Alcohol withdrawal is is a few day. I think you get some really, really like. There's obviously the temptation, but withdrawal is just a few days, and that's where the temptation okay. is the strongest, and you have fever and convulsions and different things like that. And after you get through that, and this is a weird thing to think, but honestly, half these people probably have never seen a white person. That's true. They're so right, they live. They live in, there in the mountain, Japan. Yeah. yeah. You're way better off, you know, being accurate with a bow and arrow than not accurate with a gun. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. Yeah, they're not gonna like that. You're angry because they make you wear a dress. Ah, oh, <laughs> come on. Come on, Tom. <laughs> Probably just doesn't want to talk to you. This temple was built by my family a thousand years ago. My name is Katsumoto. What? I will practice my English with him. If you would honor me. You kept me alive just... The warriors in your country do not care. They don't cut the heads off defeated kneeling men. General Hasegawa asked me to help him end his life. Different cultures, he just doesn't get it so far, yeah. Well, I believe too. To my understanding, it's actually more honorable for them to help you cut the, to cut off your head. Like but it's, it it's your, yeah. if you have to do it yourself and no one else cuts off your head, it's less honorable. It's it's more honor. Like you get killed by like a warrior if they if they cut off your head. Mm. Who's a warrior in the red armor? My brother-in-law, Hirotomo, and the woman who cares for me, my sister, Hirotomo's wife. Her name is. It was a good dad. Oh my. And she still cares for him. In all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just take a shower. I don't know. Take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he wants to say sorry or whatnot, right? Yeah. Feels bad. I, I think he... I think he's confused, right? He doesn't understand the culture. He doesn't understand why they're treating him so well. He's not used to this, right? Uh oh. <laughs> Yo, the kids beats him. <laughs> now that's the son, right? <laughs> he 
he's too angry, he's not gonna win because he's too angry, right? <laughs> you know, some things are better figured out with a little bit of pain. Ooh. So Tom is in no condition to fight seriously. Gotta think right now. He is absolutely mad, you know, getting up. <laughs> Loving the music right oh. now, the, the soundtrack. He's still gonna get up. Now, I love that scene. I think that's so awesome. That's so well done. You're the one if I call you Bob, do you? <laughs> Bob once. God, he was ugly as a meal. You ladies man, Bob? <laughs> Tell me we are hot in this war. Why? Why we still love? Read a book. I would rather have a good composition. Why? I agree. We are both students of war. Well, the... General of you, honor? No. I was a captain. A middle rank. It's like in between, yeah. <laughs> who was your general? In your country, do not like conversation? He was a lieutenant colonel. Not, not with enemies, you know, come on. And he got massacred because he took a single battalion against 2,000 angry Indians. 2,000 Indians? How many men for Custer? 211. Hmm. Their culture sees that right very it. differently than us. Really? What do you want from I me? I think it's very what interesting. What do you want for yourself? I am their captive, but then I cannot escape. Mostly I'm treated with a kind of a mild neglect. As if I you were see, a You see, could be worse. Or of course. 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 Everyone is polite. Everyone smiles and bows. But the Nisa Kurosi, I detect a deep rest. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> I don't know if they want him to be training, right? I mean... Yeah, he's gotta listen to his... his... general. Got his very own kimono. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay, does anybody see me dressed like this doing this right now? <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> using different <laughs> techniques, huh? <laughs> He's gonna have to tell her, tell... He's gonna have to say something at some point to her, right? He got it! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some like him, some don't like him, huh? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Gotta be hella hard for her. It's terrible. Gotta take care of him. Oh, 
You know, credit to Taka for um, for doing all of this, understanding what like what her duty, or at least in this sense, what she feels like her duty is. This is just beautiful. Love a contrast right there. <laughs> He's learning too. Yeah, there's definitely a respect on both sides of things. Of course, which is so cool. You did his duty, you did your duty. Yeah. Okay, so he's been here for a while. Wow. Yeah. Almost a year or so? Maybe, maybe oh. less, but still. Uh, yeah, very long. There's so much here that to question God's purpose. But there is indeed something spiritual in this place. Yeah. By the way, he hasn't gone back to alcohol, right? No, he hasn't. He's been clean. Yeah. I do know it is here that I have known my first untroubled sleep in many years. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> He's teaching them baseball. <laughs> Are they placing bets? <laughs> Ooh -hoo -hoo. How many moves was that? <laughs> Five moves or? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, okay. He's got to concentrate, right? Yeah. Oh, so close! Huh. <laughs> First time. <laughs> Slowly earning uh, the respect, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even he's in it. Whoa! Whoa! Came out of nowhere. Oh, okay. Okay. What is this? What do we got here? <laughs> did he see him? Come yeah, on. he did. He did. Ay ay ay! They all go to protect him, though. Go, go get inside. Go. Come on, Tom needs a weapon. He's a good warrior. We need him right now. My! Okay. Oh! oh. <laughs> Two and one swing. Okay. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh! Okay! Oh, she got it. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, finally got a weapon. All right. Go, 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 oh, go. yeah, I want to see the kid fight. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, shit. No, not the kid. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's go. Face painted. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. They got it! <laughs> One after the hitter. <laughs> okay, wasn't that action badass? <laughs> oh. If the Emperor wishes my death, he has my task. So it's hmm. Damn. I'm having trouble finishing the point in the pages since you came here. Is he spying on him? Spying on his journal? She told you. 
No, yeah, see, see, Taka has told him. Oh, okay, yeah. Who is ashamed of what he has done? Mm. Ooh, that's good. I like that line. <laughs> Tell me more. I don't want to see what we have seen. And then, I come to this place of my ancestors. I don't remember. Back then. <laughs> Yeah, the Bushido the has granted a safe passage to Tokyo. We leave tomorrow. Things have changed. I mean, look, he saved his life, right? Enemy or no, he saved his life. Mm, that's true. He came us. She won't forget as well. <laughs> huh. Oh, and offering a gift before going. That's such a cool shot. I got. I was gonna commentate exactly on that shot. I'm like, wow. I was like. <laughs> he's gonna have a surprising Tom's character, right? <laughs> yeah, everybody thinks he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is not happy. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna get uh, his payment, by the way. Don't think he's gonna get uh, paid. I don't think so. <laughs> his 500 bucks. <laughs> They have true respect. Ah, oh, this film is so good. <laughs> I forgot how good this movie is. It's so good. Well, you never cease to astonish. How oh, it's yours. Yes, indeed. As soon as the Emperor signs the damn trade agreement. They have the Gatlin guns, too? Oh, that's gonna do damage. Yes. Welcome mm. back, Captain. I don't like how we're calling them savages, you know? No, because they're not. Just because you don't understand doesn't mean they're evil. Hmm. No. Yeah.言語員よ。正しいと思うことをおやりになればよい。あの者たちの望むことをしている限り、神は神であるかもしれない。どうすればよい。教えてくれ。<笑> He needs your help. <laughs> no, but I think he's challenging him to take responsibility for himself, right? Mm, I think I think okay. the emperor is scared of the responsibility. He feels the weight of his decisions, oh, for sure. and he's for asking sure. for help. And Katsumoto understands that and is forcing him to to make the decisions for himself. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Captain Hartman. Perhaps We're not done with you. <laughs> <laughs> He's not drinking anymore. Yeah. Katsumoto is an extraordinary man, is he not? He's a tribal leader. I don't see how this concerns me. Ah, but it does. You see, you were right, Captain Oldman. Last year we are not prepared to go to battle. You were right, and Colonel Bavri was wrong. But now we are ready. If Katsumoto is Are allowed sure? to attract other samurai hmm. to his cause, either I will stop him at the council today, or you will lead my army against him. And with these new weapons, you will crush him. One that we recognize the extraordinary contribution you have made to the Emperor. Do we understand each other? Doesn't really have a choice, yes, right? Understand each other. Katsumoto and Chikazuki are You're gonna try to kill him, but... <laughs> <laughs> we need planning to go up against the council this afternoon. Who are you? 
He's part of the council. Oh my. They're not gonna kill him, they're gonna cut off his, his top knot, which is his honor. So it makes him a samurai. It's not what makes him, but it's part of it. He was ready to fight. Ready to defend himself. Defend him. Doing it in public as well, right here. <laughs> see, to me, I'm like, when you see moments like that, even if you didn't agree with the samurai, like, that's when you know you're on the wrong side. Like, that's not right, you know? Like, when you see that in the world... Mm. He's got to think for himself. What is he going to say? Yeah. He's not going to say anything. Oh. Come on. $500 a month, including back pay for time spent in captivity. There's enough there to climb back inside a bottle for the rest of your life. Come on, you're better than this. Well, it is pretty much as soon over. as it becomes a habit, Catching motors done. under arrest? Just tell me one thing. What is it about your own people that you hate so much? Come on. Yeah, I don't know. That's a very interesting perspective. It, it, I want to talk about it at the end, because especially... Well, I mean, you're not... You're from Canada, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I, I don't know. As an American, that's something I... I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about it at the end. Yeah, if there's any topics or any teams in particular, you know, you can write them down, or if you just got them, you know. Sand is shaking. Let's go. Yo. I mean, with confidence. Fake it till you make it. Let's go. <laughs> with confidence, you can do anything. <laughs> he had to be scared shitless. <laughs> oh. I mean, they made it, so. How's your phone coming? The end is proving difficult. This is Simon Graham, you'd like to do that. Let's go! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Yo, the bows and arrows were so efficient, so great. Too dangerous. <laughs> so, so close. So young, huh? But he's so ready for death. I mean, the chances of him getting out of here alive. Oh. <laughs> uh, gonna sacrifice himself to slow them down. Uh. Yeah. Hey. Oh. I I just love that moment between him and the dad. I think that's. Such a powerful moment. I have failed them. Oh, come on. So you will take her with life. Shame. 
Can we do this later? Can we, can we finish all of this? Sure. The way of the samurai is not necessary anymore. Necessary. What could be more necessary? <laughs> it makes you better than all of us. Together. We won't make the emperor hear you. <laughs> That's just so cool. range you gotta be advantage yeah. yes close range you guys are way way better fighters this will be the last entry in this journey i've Whoa. tried to give a true counting of what i've seen what i've done i do not presume to understand the course of my life uh, i grew up on <laughs> <laughs> i like this Hmm. It's the same shot with him yeah. training, but in the sunset. That's ah, beautiful. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> there it is. Gotta be hella weird for her. Is this her moving on? Her accepting? I don't know. I think I think that they've created a bond. You know, she took care of him, and seeing him like truly love her son, hmm. I, I do think there's something there. <laughs> That's just too cool. Did they say how many men they had? No, but he said two regiments, and he said they're gonna come in waves of a thousand, which means they have easily more than two thousand men, and okay. they have only five hundred. Okay. Good God. Captain Ong, we will show you no quarter. You ride against us, and you are the same as they are. I'll look for you on the field. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I want to see that. It's still crazy to me how people fought back then, you know, kind of like with respect, really like, you know, an RPG or like a game. Okay, we're like on both sides, <laughs> don't know one at a time. Like, I don't know why, like, if I was fighting, like, I don't know, this is too, like, civilized for me, I don't know. <laughs> no, I know, it's cool though. Yeah. Your little swords are not gonna do anything against, <laughs> against this. Yeah, this is not going as planned, right? Or maybe it is. They're gonna draw them in somehow. Yeah, yeah. luring them into a trap or... Yeah, that's where he just made a mistake, right? <laughs> that's yeah. where he did a mistake. <laughs> this is gonna be a bloodbath. Already know it. <laughs> oh, 
while they're reloading. Oh. I mean, it's useful having an, an, an American knowing how we're going to exactly. fight. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows all the strategy. Hmm. <laughs> oh, now these dudes are trapped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now you go attack, well very weak. <laughs> now it's just easy. Ay yeah, yeah. It's raining arrows. Oh man. It's a good strategy though, right? <laughs> but they died with honor. Yeah. Died defending what they stood for, you know. Hey, shh. Oh. No. I like that we're getting close ups, you know, in, on <laughs> individual sites, but also getting aerial shots, just showing us the scale of this. Oh, yeah, it's so cool. The way they film it, and yeah, it, it's so well done. Sacrificing himself. Ay, ay, ay. But. Do you re that's the guy who who guarded him. Uh. Oh! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Ooh, he's At the beginning, butt. he was injured and still fought. Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay! Okay! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> like they're so badass, <laughs> just with the horses, with the armor. The armor is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he is unstoppable. Yes. What a machine! <laughs> now they're retreating. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I don't know, the music, the tone, the fighting, I know that you just recently saw a Gladiator. I don't know why it kind of make me think of that a bit, in a sense. Yeah, yeah, it, it, same with uh, Braveheart. These all kind of came out around the same time. Huh. And I really like all of the movies. They're all great movies. Is that 2000, men? I think so, or more, even. Is now his time. It's not over. <laughs> He's defeated. He must accept his shame. Not defeated yet. Well, I like that what Tom Cruise said has stuck with him. Where he was like, you're gonna die anyway, so might as well die at the hands of the enemy as opposed to the hands of yourself. Die no. fighting. I want to see 1v1 him with Tom. <laughs> that guy deserves to die a brutal death. You got the slow mo. <laughs> oh, he's scared. He's scared. Come on, come on. Get there before they shoot. They're still far. This ain't fair. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> Let's go. Aye, aye, aye. Let's go. Yeah, he's not making it out. Oh. Oh. They're no, charging the all guns, the way. Right. Ah. No, I don't want to see this. Oh. Oh. We're all getting hit. Is 
is gonna be like with 300. Nobody's gonna survive. They're all gonna go. Come on. Die with honor. Still getting back up. Hmm. Oh. He regrets it. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Oh my. Hmm. Wow. He's going. <laughs> In English. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just like how he imagined. Yeah. Out of respect. <laughs> the last samurai. I don't know, you could say it's Katsumoto, or you could say it's him. But he has Katsumoto's sword. He would have wanted you to have it. Let the strength of the samurai be with you always. Katsumoto no shoe it tamu kimochi wa mino nachi desu. Oh, come on. I know, right? It's so sorry. Come slimy. on. You were with him. At the end? Yeah. This man fought against you. If I would respect, come on. If you believe me to be your enemy, command me, and I will gladly take my life. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> How can you not respect that? Pendant, immortal. And now, we have railroads and cannon, western clothing. Gotta respect the traditions. We cannot forget. Yeah. Who we are. I have concluded that your treaty is not in the best interest of my people. Oh. If I may, <laughs> so sorry. Eh. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can't handle yourself, you know. <laughs> Being a warrior. I'll tell you how he lived. <laughs> hmm. Wow. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs> At least I wish. So, what did you think? I love the movie. Love the, the, the emotional impact. The you know the the traditions. You know the respects of the tradition. Seeing both sides. You know. 
them that do not respect them at all and then that you know completely respect them seeing you know the clash of both worlds yeah yeah i mean it was even better than i remember to be honest i i thought it was so powerful ah just everything about it dude like like it's like you're saying about the yeah. armor like the set designs and the swords oh. and i don't know everything how they did those point. like yeah the like scene, the whole village <sighs> the scene where he killed himself at the end which you know when the, only the two of them were left right there everybody else on the floor was down and it's like oh such an impactful moment like let me go i don't know what exactly he said but like let me go w- with my honor let me know let me go how i want to go you know oh, such, such yeah. an impactful moment right there for, for two of them yeah and he said, like just... oh I'm, go- I'm gonna miss our conversations i was like oh you know but <laughs> that was great <laughs> that was great dude it got me man it really got me and i, I just i liked the whole like message of the story you know i really like the idea of like you know, at least I always kind of took it as like Al- Algren recognizes the idea that there's more than country and that it does not like your first loyalty is to do what's right before you follow a country or a commander. I love that. You need, yeah. you need to follow a code. And like I liked that, you know, he I think he did take part in some some atrocities in America and they don't really specify it. And to be honest, I really like really that the movie to. doesn't specify it. Exactly. I like that they, they don't, don't they say don't it specifically. To. But it's like the the writer said, like, he found peace. And I always took that as, like, he found peace because he knew what he was doing was right. And yeah, it didn't matter it how many people died or how many horrible things happened because he knew that he was doing the right thing. And so that in that way, whether he lived or died, he found peace. And that's just so beautiful. <laughs> For sure, he gave us just enough of his backstory, you know, with Nathan Algren, just enough of him, of his past didn't need to go too much in depth because this was not what the story was focused on. You know, we got a couple flashbacks of him and you know, you know fighting back then, but yeah. didn't really need to focus on that too much. I like how he, uh, how we spend a lot of time, you know, just Tom Cruise, just in the village, actually living with them for close to a year or so. So he really learned their yeah. ways, and I think they had a mutual respect. Then at the end, you know, everybody kind of respected him at the end before they left. So that was great. And I really liked the different characters and stuff. I liked the wife, Taka, a lot. I thought she had a great arc. I think I just really, I liked their romance too. I liked how they didn't really force it. Like I think a lot of other movies would have forced it. I liked that they didn't, I don't know, I liked that they didn't force it. Yeah, for sure. Definitely was expecting something between the both of them. Like how are they going to do it? You know, didn't go too much into it it must have been crazy hard we saw her only a few moments you know uh talking uh talking about how she felt but you know didn't express it too much still had a lot of respect you know uh, i think at some point she mentioned like oh you know my husband did what he had to do you did what you had to do so you know just yeah a n- nice moment right there and at the end you know was able to you know i don't know deal deal with it or put it uh, behind her when she accepted it uh and kiss them, you know, at that earlier scene. Yeah, yeah, and then Katsumoto's, uh, I just thought all the arcs were so well done, and, and, like, I thought it was a cool kind of coming together of, like, with uh, Algren's sword having the thing be like, oh, the guy from, takes the both the old and the new and brings them together. And it's just a cool, like, that's such yeah. a cool message, or it's like, you can't forget your history, but you can still progress, and you don't want to do either. You, you want to, ah, it's just so cool. That's great totally not abandoning for ways like why put all of the history he said like 900 years in his house whatever you know been there for hundreds or thousands of years so you know it's important to not forget that not forget your your heritage you know especially you know with the with the like important stuff when you got really like important stuff that you gotta really gotta remember people giving uh their lives up you know don't want to don't want that to be in vain so we gotta remember it yeah yeah I, I just thought it was really powerful um, but yeah, man, uh, thank you. Thank you. Timothy reacts guys. I'm going to put the link in the description. Thank you so much, Tim, for coming on, man. This is really fun. Thank you. I had a lot of fun watching this. Didn't know what, where it was going to go the last time right? not knowing anything about it. Definitely. I knew it was going to be like big, impactful, crazy action pack, but it was a lot more impactful than I thought it'd be just a great yeah. movie. I think the pacing was very good. You know, we had some slower moments, but great pacing, really focusing on developing the characters. And then we got the action. Yeah, and the action was great, dude. The action was awesome. Beautiful. 
yeah so thank you man so much for coming on um like i said all this stuff's gonna be in the description we did a video on his channel uh we watched hercules so if you guys want to go check that out it's also going to be in the description and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want me to do more stuff like this totally let me know i'd love to do more collaborations with timothy or uh, just other people in general let me know if you guys want to see more of this and then as always thank you guys so much for watching full length reaction is going to be out on patreon if you want to go support us and i will see you all in the next video